Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their uh, excitement and expectation. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. A mouth-watering game this between two very high-quality sides, a treat for everybody here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Bernardo Silva, he's a real box of tricks, Peter, with a, a super first touch and a really nice, silky smooth dribbling style. He's also got an eye for a telling pass and He's a more than decent finisher too. What we don't usually comment on is his phenomenal work rate. And Gundogan with the foul. Mares going through. Oh, he's tripped him right on the cusp of the penalty area. No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. Keylor Navas is there to take. And it's played forward. Looking to force his way, going for goal! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. You lucky boy, you lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. Dinks one in, looks to play him in, but uh, a minor communications breakdown. De Bruyne. Loses his balance and loses the ball. He's got away, he's had a go! Goal, Paris Saint-Germain! A momentary lapse exploited with glee. So, a breakthrough already. Laporte. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Good idea, just poorly executed. Mares. De Bruyne. Can't get the better of his opposite number. 
Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. De Bruyne goes up and over. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Eric Garcia. Lobs it in gently. Dinked in. Cleared away. And Merrick Laporte just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all-or-nothing commitments, and he came up trumps. And here's Neymar. Has a pop! He scored! And already they're looking to run away with it. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. So that's two now without reply. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Bernardo Silva goes looking. And it's Sterling. Bernardo Silva. That's it into the great leap! He will be livid with himself. Idrissa Gay. Lovely feet. Oh, he's been flattened there. Idrissa Gay. And the shot! He's missed, but not by that far. Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. They have done it again! Bernat with a predatory goal. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. <laughs> Paris Saint-Germain take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Sterling. Big chance! Keylor Navas deals with it effortlessly. Through the middle. Has a goal! And they've been caught out here. Mares. Mares hits it! A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said. 
if there's a spectacular turnaround. Paris Saint-Germain, very much in control here, three up and cruising. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Goes for goal! Manchester City are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. So is this the start of a comeback? And the Herrera. Florenzi. Paris Saint-Germain ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Away from immediate danger. Bernardo Silva. Eric Garcia. Idrissa Gay battles to win it back. De Bruyne. Kyle Walker. And here's Aguero. Aguero! Going after it. And the Herrera. Made towards the front men. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Aguero beats the offside trap. Mares. Tries a shot! Marco Verratti. Out to the right. Could move up a gear here. Mbappe. Played back in. Laporte tries to clear. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Paris Saint-Germain just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. That's not going to make it. Sterling with good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Now it's Mares. He's got it on the right now. What's on? Oh, some tackle that. Idrissa Gay demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. And Sterling! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. Uh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Good ball, it's for... And the finish! Swift, incisive, deadly, all done in a matter of seconds. Well, talking about being hit on the break, the ball was in their net before they could even organise their defence. It was fast and furious, and all but unstoppable. So here comes the substitution. So we have a double substitution going on here. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Paris Saint-Germain are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Now it's Aguero. 
Manchester City are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Oh, real danger here. Mbappe. Mbappe! And the follow-up sticks it away. And surely that clinches it. There really is no way back now. Jim, your thoughts? Look, the goal was well manufactured, but the striker probably can't believe he's been given that much space in the penalty area, and he wasn't going to miss. Paris Saint-Germain, two up and into a position of real strength. Laporte. Laporte gets it away. Berati takes the long option. Sinchenko plays it forward. A real chance to break. And it's Bernardo Silva. And here's Aguero. Nice touch. So who's he picking out? Incoming cross. Strong punch. Idrissa Gay. Marco Verratti. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Bernardo Silva. He's got options out wide. Sterling. And the shot! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. And that's it. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well-deserved. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Paris Saint-Germain really are a very good away side, people.